Hello and welcome once again. I'm still up north. This time though, I'm at Bradford Interchange and this is as far north as I've been on the network um, so far doing this. So let's see what we get, but welcome again to Down The Line. After what has turned out to be a highly enjoyable venture across Yorkshire, I now reached the penultimate station of Bradford Interchange. The original station opened as Bradford Exchange in 1850 by the efforts of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway and the Great Northern Railway. The station has been rebuilt a couple of times in 1880 and again in 1973, but it then settled with Bradford Interchange in 1983. So for Bradford Interchange, this station is managed by Northern, um, Service-wise, Northern, of course, and also this is the terminus for the Grand Central services from London King's Cross. So it's actually nice to see one of these in the flesh for once, up close. With Bradford being the furthest north that I've been on the railway network, I took a keen interest in the destinations that you can access from here, such as Halifax, Chester, Preston, Blackpool, and not to mention Bradford Interchange is also part of the Calder Vale line. Bradford Interchange is one of two stations here in Bradford and of course I've done the two at Vista, done the two at New Mills. It's only right that I do the two in Bradford while I'm here. Um, so let's see what Bradford's got. I'm excited. Bradford Interchange was considered the mainline station for express services from places like King's Cross, Liverpool and Newcastle, but these services were moved to Bradford Forster Square Station in 1992 when that line was electrified. Not only that, for those who remember British Rail Red Star, there was a terminus adjacent to the station, but like most places following privatisation, this facility was lost during the 1990s. It's not just trains that reside here. Just outside, there is the main bus and coach station here at Bradford. So, for the passenger, you can't go wrong with the transport here. The station combines itself with the bus and coach station, and the current design you see today was completed in 2001. It has been great to explore this part of the network, and to see the stations in between, there have been more than a few that have caught my attention for my next adventure up north. And if you can, Please like and subscribe to see even more railway adventures. But for now, I will await my next train to my last stop, Manchester Piccadilly. Okay, and that is Bradford Interchange finished. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get time to go to Forster Square because on the network, there are a few delays and cancellations around. So that's meaning I don't want to put my own journey back at risk. So we're going to put it to one side and we're going to have to come back and do it again. But I've enjoyed my time at Bradford Interchange and I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time down the line. <laughs>